Okay, we're going to go through scapula. Scapula, we're going to do an AP and a PAY view. So again, we're going to do these upright. Make sure that I'm in transverse detent and a 40 inch SID. My film can go in either way, 14 by 17 crosswise or lengthwise. We're going to use 10 by 12 collimation lengthwise for both the AP and the lateral scapulas. So I'm going to change my collimation to 10 by 12. Okay. So what I'm going to do, same dressing instructions as the other shoulder area, is everything from the waist up off, including your bra necklace, and then put that gown down to the openings in the back. I'll verify that I am doing the correct side, ask if there was an injury, what happened, how long ago, where's the pain, any limited range of motion, anything like that. So again, lap shield's going to go in front of my patient for the first view, and I'm going to have her go ahead and put her back up against that board. Your central rail should be two inches inferior to the coracoid process, which usually ends up being right at about where the armpit would start. You should have at least an inch to two inches of light above the shoulder. The board's going to move behind you. And then I also want to be centered two inches medial from the lateral border of the patient. I'm going to scoot them this way just a little bit. Usually the my medial side of my light is going to be at the mid-sagittal plane. I'm going to put a right marker in the upper corner there. And then what I'm going to have my patient do is extend their arm up and put the back of your hand up against your forehead. I should have a little sliver of light here. My marker is hidden, but it's still okay. It's going to show up in the image. And then for this one, I'm going to do a breathing technique. So I'm going to have my patient take short, shallow breaths and I'm going to extend my exposure time to blur out the lung markings so I can see the scapula. After I'm done with that one, I'm going to tell my patient, you can lower your arm down, and then what I'm going to have you do is bring your right arm over and touch your left shoulder, and I'm going to have my patient turn towards the board, keeping that shoulder in contact with the IR the entire time to help eliminate any confusion. And then I'm going to Ensure my patient is rotated 45 degrees, center over the mid scapula there. So let's switch to the left side just so you can see for this. So go ahead and bring your left arm over. In fact, we're going to switch just so that we can see it a little bit better on the camera. So if I was doing a left scapula Y view, I'm going to turn my patient 45 degrees towards the affected shoulder. And then I'm going to center, go ahead and step forward right over the medial border of the scapula. And I'm going to put my left marker in the upper corner there. I want to make sure that I get the entire body of the scapula on there. And my patient's at a 45 to 60 degree angle. I would also turn my lap shield around so it's on her backside there. And I would just have my patient suspend respiration for this. So hold your breath, don't breathe. And that's it for scapula.